Bethany Moda Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting your thumb and ring nails white, your pointer nail dark blue, and your middle and pinky nails purple. On your pointer nail, we're going to be painting a rose pattern. So I'm going to start with three to five red spots. It just depends on how big your nail is. And you don't want these to be perfectly circular. You want them to be a little bit uneven looking. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of white to my red to lighten it. And then I'm going to go through and paint the center of a rose, starting with two little C shapes and then adding petals going around them. And on the ones that aren't whole, I'm going to start on the outside and then work my way towards the center. And with a bright green paint, I'm now going to be adding just two, one or two leaves by each rose. And to do this, I'm just painting like two parentheses shapes. So one on one side and then one on the other side so that they connect and make sort of a teardrop shape. And with white, I'm now going to be painting an M on top of this background. And you want your M to be a fairly thick letter. So you don't want to make really thin lines because we're going to be adding a black line in the middle. So you want to make sure you have room to paint that. And now, as I mentioned, we're going to be taking a thin black line and just going on the inside of the M. So now for our middle and pinky nails, we're going to be painting a plaid pattern with lavender and silver. So start by making lines going horizontally or vertically. You can start either way down your nail. So I'm going to start with about three or four vertical lines, and then I'm going to add two or three going the other way. And when you're painting lines going horizontally, you want to start in the middle and then work to one side and then start. And then, you know, you don't want to try and paint that whole line in one swipe because chances are it's going to go crooked or something like that. Now fill in with some silver. And now, on our middle nail only, we're going to be painting a heart on top of the pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking black paint. I'm going to be painting sort of like the shape of the inside of a peace sign. So I'm going to start with just doing the top section of the heart. And so you're going to make two little parallel lines, leaving a stripe in the middle, and then fill in the upper section on each side of the heart. If you don't think that you can do this by leaving those lines blank for the peace sign, you can fill in the heart with black entirely, and then just go through and add them with white. So that would be just adding another layer, which, you know, gets a little thicker. But if you think it'll turn out better for you, absolutely go ahead and do that. On our ring and thumbnail, we're going to be just sponging some pastel colors. I'm going to start with purple in the upper corner. And then I'm going to go to the opposite corner just to let that purple dry a little bit and do yellow. And then orange in one of the last corners and finally with sort of a blue-green. And now on our ring nail only, I'm going to be painting a T with white paint. And as with all the other letters, we're going to be adding a thin black line in the middle of our T. And now on our pinky nail only, we're going to be painting the letter A with white. So 
So now once you have all of these letters completed and you line your fingers up, it should say Moda across them. And finish off your A with a thin black line running through it. And now on our thumb, we're going to be writing Bethany, and I'm going to start in the middle of her name with the H. That way I can add the last three letters after it, and we know that it'll still be in the middle regardless of how big our print is. So then I'm going to continue with the rest of her name, so A, and then the N, and then luckily I still have enough room for the Y. And if you don't have enough room, you can always take some rubbing alcohol and wipe it off and then start over. That's the wonderful thing about acrylic paint. So then I'm going to continue to finish the rest of her name with a T, then an E, and then finally with her B. And I'll of course add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please comment with requests and subscribe. Also check me out on Facebook and Twitter. I will see you in my next video.